Hello. Hi. Welcome to Storytime Snippets with Miss Brooke. Uh, today we are reading a really fun story about math. It's really funny. So we are going to be doing counting and working with money and change. Uh, so I hope you will stick with us for Storytime Snippets this week. All right, let's start with our welcome song. So this is a new one that we've been doing for the past couple of weeks, and it goes, I wiggle my fingers, I wiggle my toes, I wiggle my ears, I wiggle my nose, I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my chin, I stretch my arms wide and pull them back in. I wiggle my elbows. I wiggle my knees. I hop like a bunny. I smile and say cheese. So now I have no more wiggles left in me. And I sit on the floor as still as can be. Nice. So you've probably heard a rhyme called Five Little Monkeys before. So we're going to pretend these five little fingers are five little monkeys. So five little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps one monkey right out of the tree. We've got four, one, two, three, four, four little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps one monkey right out of the tree. How many do we have now? Three. Three little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, blah, 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 can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snaps a little monkey right out of the tree. How many now? Two, two little monkeys. Two little monkeys swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Snaps that little monkey right out of that tree. Oh no, now we only have one little monkey. One little monkey swinging from a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, l -l 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 can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And snaps that monkey right out of that tree. Oh no. Now we have zero monkeys. No little monkeys swinging from a tree. Away swings Mr. Alligator. Bye bye. As full as can be. You rub your tummy. Oh, I'm so full. Full of monkeys. Mm. Man, that was a dramatic story about naughty little monkeys. Our book today is by Jan Thomas, and it's called, Is That Wise Pig? I love Jan Thomas. Her books are so colorful, colorful, and all of her animals' pictures are so big and bright. Who wants to help me make soup? I do! Here is one onion. Here are two cabbages. And here are three umbrellas. Three umbrellas in the soup? Mm, I don't think umbrellas are very tasty, but I've never tried one. Is that wise, pig? Hmm. Oh, um, I guess not. Now, here are four tomatoes. One, two, three, four. And here are five potatoes. One, two, three, four, five. And here are six galoshes. Those are galoshes. They kind of look like boots. Well, I guess they are boots. Six galoshes in the soup? Hmm. Is that 
wise pig? Can you say it with me? Is that wise pig? Oh, um, I guess not. Here are seven green beans. Here are eight Brussels sprouts. And here are nine carrots. Nine carrots, yes. Pretty wise, huh? And... I asked ten hungry friends to join us. There they are. Was that wise, pig? Uh-oh. Look at them coming. Oh, man, they're coming. Uh-oh, better use these. Get out those umbrellas. Get out those galoshes. Oh. With all that food flying, the umbrellas and galoshes are pretty wise, pig. Thanks, cow. What a mess. There's just one thing missing. Really? What's that, pig? Me! He's running. Pizza? Pizza. Mm, they're gonna order a pizza. The end. Oh, it says something on the back. I like a surprise. Pig wouldn't do anything unwise, would he? If we turn it like this, it looks like it's one big picture. Pig wouldn't do anything unwise, would he? Is that wise, pig? The end. Nice. She writes a lot more books if you're interested. All right, now we're going to do another story called Benny's Pennies. And if you look closely, we've got five pennies. They're really big pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Do you have pennies? Maybe you have a piggy bank and you have pennies in your piggy bank. These are really big pennies. All right, so Benny McBride had five new pennies. One, two, three, four, five pennies. What should I buy? Buy something beautiful, said his mom. Buy something good to eat, said his brother. Buy something nice to wear, said his sister. Woof, woof, said the dog. Meow, said the cat. Okay, Benny said, I will. So Benny strolled out in the morning sun and a woman was cutting roses. Her name was Mrs. Hill. Will you sell me a rose, asked Benny. Will you sell me a rose for one penny? Yes, I will, said Mrs. Hill. So Benny McBride would, took one penny and gave it to Mrs. Hill and got a rose. So now how many pennies does Benny have? One, two, three, four. All right, so he took his four new pennies and a sweet rose out in the morning sun. And a girl was baking cookies. Her name was Lucy. Will you sell me a cookie? Will you sell me a cookie for a penny? A cookie for a penny. Okay. There goes a penny. And we've got a cookie. Yummy. So now Benny has three pennies, a rose, and a cookie. So... Benny went walking again in the morning sun and a boy was making hats. Will you sell me a hat? Will you sell me a hat for a penny? A hat for a penny? Okay, sure. That's stuck. There we go. A hat. There's our new hat. Nice. So now Benny had one, two pennies a flower, a cookie, and a hat. So Benny decided to go out for a continuous stroll out in the morning sun, and he came across a man catching a fish. And his name was Mr. Beale, and he said, Mr. Beale, can I buy a fish for a penny? And Mr. Beale said, a fish for a penny? Sure, why not? It's a deal. So now we 
we've got a fifth. So Benny had one penny, one flower, one fifth, one cookie, and a hat. Just one penny left. So Benny, with a sweet smelling rose, a cookie, a hat, and a went for a morning walk. And he came across a butcher cutting meat. And he asked the butcher, could I trade you a penny for a bone? Aha, a penny for a bone? What a deal! So then Benny, Benny McBride with his rose, his cookie, his hat, his bone, his fish, and no pennies, he's all out of pennies, strolled home in the morning sun. I'm back, he called, and I brought what you said. It's beautiful, said his mom. She took the flower. Mmm, good, says his brother. He took the cookie. Ooh, I like it, said his sister, who took the hat. Woof, woof, said the dog, who took the bone. And meow, said the cat, who took the fish. Thank you, Benny, they all said together. You're welcome. All right, good job. I hope you like that one. I like that one. I like it. It's pretty. All right, so it's that's it for story time today. So it's time for our goodbye song. And to sing a goodbye song with me, I just need to know two signs. The first one is goodbye. Goodbye. And the second one is friends. One friend here, one friend here. Make them hug. All right, so it goes, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, we'll see you next time.